everyone welcome back to another vlog kind of thing so if you remember a few weeks ago i tried out a bunch of horses and i took you guys along with me and i also mentioned in that video that this week i would announce which horses i bought along with a few other surprise horses as well that i didn't mention before so now you know also make sure to stick around until the end of this video i have an important announcement about some rescue horses that will be up for sale this week through one of our rescue farm partners and you all will have a chance to buy them so pretty exciting so to start off strong and get into it fast because i know you guys don't like when i talk and talk and talk the horse behind me and the one i was riding in the beginning is rowan he's nine years old and his show name is running through red lights i purchased him from hannah ground peak in like late april and i waited this long to announce him simply because of time and just because I wanted to work with him first before I told you guys anything major about him. But he is a really good boy and I want to thank Hannah so much for letting me buy him. Her channel is Everything Eventing. If you want to check out her videos about Rowan before I bought him. I'm pretty sure she owns Silverglade Woods now. So I'll link their Instagram below too if you want to check that out as well. Rowan is my own personal horse. So he's being added to my personal roster with Rainley now, which I am ecstatic about. Speaking of, I did finally grow a pair and I bought Rainley instead of leasing him, so woohoo! Rainley is also permanently a part of our family now. He's pretty much my all-around horse as I work on smoothing some of Rowan's edges. Before we cut into the good stuff, like the stuff I mentioned last week, I want to also announce that my best friend Georgia Blue Land is now an official co-owner of the FLEC. She's made a few videos about her moving in and so on, so I want to introduce you to her horses who have joined us here so far. First, this is her horse Malibu. He's super sweet and super playful, not to mention he's also so beautiful. Look at him. He's been enjoying his pasture time with Dash the past few weeks, but I think it's safe to say Dash hasn't been quite as thrilled. He's probably, he probably enjoys it though. He's just very, he's not a very transparent horse. She also brought along a pony, and I love ponies. Oh, she's so beautiful. Look at her. Oh my god. Her name is Coconut, and we're mixing her into our lesson program. I think Georgia mentioned that she will be up for lease, but I'm not entirely sure, so that's a question you would have to ask Georgia herself. And finally, the big guy, Montero. Now, Montero is a bit special. He's a warm blood mix, and he's owned by the FLAC. Georgia brought him, but we don't really own him. He's an import from Europe, and he is the definition of green. Like, you could open a dictionary, and Montero's face would be under green. So, our goal is to turn him into an eventer, but he's only about four or five, and he's pretty clueless sometimes. So, there is a lot to work on. We've both been working with him, though, and, you know, other than that, He's your typical gelding. He's sweet and kind and playful, a bit dumber than most horses, but I'm sure he'll figure out things pretty soon. All the speed. Now that all of that is out of the way, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. If you shatter in darker days, we'll come our way. I look back to I think it was obvious that I was going to bring Diana home, so here she is. She's been wonderful since she got here, and although she's primarily a show jumper, she has been rocking the cross-country courses. There was a split second 
where I was debating between buying her and Cinderace, if you guys remember him, but I decided, you know, for the price and stuff, Diana was the safer option. I still have Cinderace on my back burner though, maybe one day, if he's not sold by then, but who knows. We have Diana set as an advanced lesson horse for the older kids, so she'll probably be implemented into the program by the end of the month. She's a hothead, so we're taking her time here a lot slower than the other horses, so she's not perfectly in the clear yet to be ridden by kids, but she'll be ready just in time for the FLAC summer camp. Would you hold me? If I told you, we can just run away, so come my darling, let me help you. I feel like Angelica was another one that was pretty set in stone for me to buy. I mean, I fell head over heels for her the second I put my foot in the stirrup. So, so far, same story as Diana. Angelica is a beautiful show jumper and dressage horse, but she's also been doing amazing on the cross country courses. I really think she does love to run, especially since we have so much space here. She's just not used to it, so she's like really excited about it. She's listed as intermediate and she's been put into the lesson program already. The kids love her to say the least, and we can't wait to have her as part of the summer camp as well. All the sad we got Fabio and he broke my bank account so the people I was bidding against for him would not give up and there were seconds I almost gave up because the amount of Jorvik shillings for this horse, it was just a lot, an unreasonable amount. I won't say the number because it'll just make me look like a jerk, but whatever. But you know, eventually they gave up and I won him and he's here now! <laughs> he's been pretty incredible and he's just as well behaved as I hoped he'd be. He's already in the lesson program as well, and he's going to his first show with us in August alongside Willie and Teddy. So that's super excited, or, or exciting, I'm sorry. Our golden three are going to a show together, so I can't wait for that anticipated clean sweep. Knock on wood. <laughs> So, I have a surprise horse for you all to meet, and I'm really excited for you guys to meet him because he is an absolute sweetheart. This is Carrots, and he is an old soul. He's a large pony, like a super large pony that he's almost classified as a horse. I think he's literally just like half a centimeter too small to be a horse. He was gifted to us by the South Hoof Rescue Center, which was so kind of them to do. I still can't believe it. If you remember, I also bought Gail with them, so we've been pretty up in arms with the SHRC since then, and we've partnered with them, which I will explain momentarily, I promise. Anyway, meet Carrots, he's such a good boy, oh my god, he's 15 years old, and pretty much he's just a trail horse. His pass is kind of sad, so we've been taking it slow, which his pass just makes it so crazy, because he's so sweet, you would never guess, like, basically... He was found in an abandoned barn with like 10 Shetland ponies and like 10 miniature ponies. They were all crammed into one spot. He was completely malnourished, covered in welts, spur marks, bruises, you name it. He had it. And his hooves, they looked like they hadn't been trimmed in years. The poor thing could barely walk. His teeth are pretty much nubs. And he's been on a soaked feed diet, so only soft stuff, you know? I truly believe that horses know when they've been rescued because he is just, he's so gentle and so remarkable. We have him up for lease too, for anyone who would like a trail horse or a light flat work horse. He really does need to take things slow, so I ask you only take him if you are looking for a horse that will 
you know, just there to be a companion. Like, not a pasture pet, and not like anything too hefty. You know, just, just to give him something to do. All of his information and his application for lease will be linked below. Now, here's the exciting part. I'd like to introduce you to some of the horses that the South Hoof Rescue Center has lent us and in purpose to adopt them out. Now, let's get on with it. <laughs> so, meet Mooney. He's a Welsh pony and he's actually Fabio's half-brother. So, they have the same sire but different dams. He's about 8 years old and he's a good boy, he's a bit sassy, and he's definitely not as elegant as his brother, I will not lie to you. But he's a great lesson horse for those who are looking to teach their students anything regarding patience. Please trust me on that one. <laughs> he was surrendered by a family that was moving back to America, so he landed at the SHRC. Other than that, no vices. He's a good boy, but like I said, you really, you really need to be patient. Like, there's no getting around it. Next is Athena, a Lusitano and Warm Blood Cross. She was also another surrender by a dressage barn that was under investigation for abusive practices. So, <laughs> if you know, you know. Instead of going to court, which I don't even know how this works, they just gave up all their horses instead, which is messed up that it even had to happen in the first place. Like, come on. Athena is elegant and kind and very patient with both advanced and beginner riders. Her age isn't like 100% known, but the vet and everybody else, they assume she's around the 10 to 14 mark, so she's mature for her age. She's probably been around the barrel, she she knows her stuff. She could definitely be a great dressage horse for someone who's looking for a new companion. Maybe some light eventing if you can get her up there and build her up, but from what I've seen, dressage, she's perfect. Amazing. Well, that's all she wrote pretty much. My only other important thing to say is that the FLEC summer camp is coming up. I'll link the form for you to participate in that below as long as all the basic info. We're aiming for like a three day kind of thing. We don't know, but if you join, it'll just be like games and stuff, trail rides, all that. And you will be put into our vlog and stuff. It'll be me and Georgia Blueland hosting it. So it'll be pretty fun. Yeah, <laughs> it, like I said, it'll be really fun. So I hope you consider joining. Like I said, all the information will be below and on my Instagram. And if you have any questions about it, just throw me a comment, shoot me a DM, anything, and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing our new family members here at the FLEC. And I will definitely see you guys next week in another vlog. I'm trying to be more you know, consistent with these, especially since I got a new laptop and stuff. It's great. So check out the summer camp stuff. Check out the lease horses. The lease thing, it closes. I don't know. All the information will be below, okay? <laughs> it's just too much on my mind right now. But anyway, thank you so much again. Okay, bye.